I fell into the game with instant kill chapter. Space Leap, the chief mage of the Santi Imperial family, one of the archmages belonging to Santia, and a strong man on the same level as the Five Stars. It was not known how they came into conflict with such a strong man, but soon a guess flashed through my mind, hunting races. In the Imperial House of Santia, hunting of non-human races was carried out in secret, just like how they hunted the White Moon tribe of Asher, it was the Emperor's twisted beliefs, and it was a setting that occupied a fairly large part in Rosa's main story, and if it's the Siwota tribe, obviously a setting about the Siwota people also came to mind, the reason they were a special race was that it was very difficult to see them, but there was one more reason. Magic Crystal, perhaps it was called by that name, it was said that when the Siwota people almost reached their set lifespan and died, they create a magic crystal just before they died, it was like the inner core of a spirit beast in any martial arts novel, magic crystal had an extremely high purity compared to ordinary mana stones, for mages, they were nothing less than heavenly treasures, then you can understand roughly, I wanted to ask more details, but I decided not to mention the magic crystal, that would be a very sensitive issue for them as well, so it would be bad if I mentioned it since I was an outsider, how did you come across such a person? To my question, the chieftain drank tea and answered. We met him on our way back to our hometown in the sea. Did he attack your tribe for no reason? It's not that it's just the result of greed. There were various circumstances. It didn't seem like he was going to explain any more by saying that with a smirk. The result of greed, again. I was convinced that my guess about the magic crystal was correct. The woman who had been listening to the conversation with dissatisfied eyes intervened. What is Grandpa saying so uselessly? What if he goes around and talks about it to other humans? Did the person who cares about that saved a human and even brought him all the way here? No, when did I bring him here? He was just chasing after me. Ah, I wanted to tease her that she should not have meddled in the first place, but I resisted. It's a pity that I needed her to be on my side so there was nothing good about getting on her nerves. The chieftain stroked his beard and continued, Anyway, that's why I got hurt like this. All the members of the tribes escaped into the water and barely saved their lives. I could imagine how the situation at that time must be. The chieftain came forward to buy time for other members of the tribe to escape, but eventually got attacked. If his enemy was the mage of the Santi Imperial family, he had to be at his level to compete with him at all. Well, I have little time left anyway so I'm glad that all the members of the tribe survived Grandpa suddenly, the woman screamed and glared at the chieftain, I told you not to talk like that child, don't shout, it's painful in the ears, the chieftain simply drank his tea, an awkward silence fell for a moment, I felt the warmth in my hands as I fiddled with the teacup, then opened my mouth again, the wounds appear to be very serious, honestly, yes, there is no sign of getting better, I don't know how much it will help. But I have one remedy, at that, the woman looked at me in amazement. Re, a remedy? The chieftain also opened his eyes and asked me, if it's a remedy are you talking about a healing potion? Exactly. So, they're familiar with it, because they lived in the wild, I thought they would not know about potions, so it was a surprise. I immediately took out Scarlet, which I always carry in my arms. I had used it quite a bit so far, so I had less than half left, but it's a good enough amount. I said while looking at the woman whose eyes were completely fixed on the potion, this is the best potion among the potions floating around in the world. World? If you tell me where the place I'm looking for is it'll give it to you. I seek a place of mystery, and the chieftain has his wounds healed. It was a suggestion that benefit everyone. How can we believe in what humans give after muttering like that? She shut her mouth again, glanced at the chieftain, and changed her words quickly. Oh, no, I'll believe it, so give it to me. Can you tell me where the place is? Yeah. I'll tell you, so hurry. It was a desperate cry. It was a more intense reaction than I had expected, so I continued to speak, even though I was a little perplexed. Then make a promise. What else? I don't know how effective this potion will be for the chieftain's wounds, so even if the effect is minimal, you must still guide me to that place.